Hey guys, welcome to the channel learning competitive programming with CodeChef. So if you want to learn competitive programming and master data structures and algorithms, this is the prime location for you. So every week with, there will be several videos on the CodeChef challenges as well as the past problems of CodeChef. So please turn on the bell notification and subscribe to the channel. So myself Chirayu Jain, I am CodeChef educator. I am from Jaipur Engineering College and Research Center. So the problem that we are taking today is decreasing Cernomedia, decrimp is the problem code and the prerequisites of the problem is done. So what will be the agenda of the table of contents for today? So first of all, we will understand the problem statement. Then we will look at the approach of the problem with the help of multiple examples and then we will code the solution in C++. So let us understand the problem statement. So what we have been given, we have been given two integers that is L and R. So what do we need to find? We need to find the smallest non-negative integer n such that n modulo n is greater than n modulo l plus 1 is greater than continued series till n modulo r minus 1 and then n modulo r. So this is a series that is forming, right? So where mod represents modulo operator so that a modulo b is the remainder of a after division with b. So we all know that what is mod operator, right? So the remainder of a when a is divided by b is mod right so what is the example that is taken here that is 11 mod 3 gives the result 2 right so if we divide 11 with 3 so 3 3 is a 9 and the remainder that comes is 2 so this is the result after the mod operation right now we need to set the series such that we need to take the smallest non-negative integer n and the modulo of this particular integer with the whole series from L to R gives a decreasing order, right? So what is the input that we can take? The input is first T number of test cases, right? And then for each test case, we'll have two integer that is L and R, right? Okay, so the output that we need to present is the smallest possible value of N. And if there is no such value that can be uh, set for this particular condition, then we'll output minus one, right? So what are the constraints that are mentioned in the question? So the test cases are ranging from 1 to 10 to the power 5 and the value of L and R is ranging from 1 to 10 to the power 6. All right, so these are the constraints of the problem and this is the whole problem statement. Now let us look at some examples and the approach of the problem. Okay guys, so let us take the sample example of this particular problem. So for each test case, there are two test cases mentioned here. So for each test case, we have been given two values that is L and R right and we need to find the smallest uh, non-negative integer n right so let us suppose we take the first pair that is 4 and 6 and we need to find the smallest non-negative integer suppose we take n equals to 5 right so 5 modulo 4 will result to 1 and 5 modulo 6 will result to 5 so 1 is not greater than 5 so this condition will not hold true over here right so for n equals to 5 we are not able to get the series now let us suppose that we take the value that is n equals to 6 right so we are taking the random values to find the answers we'll see in the approach that how we can get to the correct answer right so we if we take n equals to 6 so 6 modulo 4 will result to 2 and 6 modulo 6 will result to 0 since 2 is greater than 0 so this is the perfect uh, sequence that we are forming according to the given condition right so the answer for this particular question the uh, this particular values of l and r will be 6 and this will be the minimum value of n right so we'll see in the approach that how we can get the minimum value and how we are able to identify this this is the particular value of n right so we'll see in the approach Similarly, if we get to the values that is 1 and 2, so we'll take the multiple values of n, right? So if we take n equals to 2, n equals to 2, so 2 modulo 1 will be 0 and 2 modulo 2 will be 0. So 0 is not greater than 0, right? It can be greater than equal to, but since we have mentioned that we need to form a strictly decreasing series, so it is not equals to over here, right? So this condition will not hold true over this particular example. So if n equals to 1, so 1 modulo 1 will result 0 and uh, 1 modulo 2 will result to 1 right so 0 is not greater than 1 so in this case also the answer will not hold true so for every possible value of n we are not able to get this particular series so the answer for this 
particular pair of L and R will be minus 1. Right. So we have understood this uh, sample input with the help of the example, this particular example that is mentioned in the question. Now let's move towards the approach of the problem. So there is one special news for you all. Unacademy has started a course of competitive programming on their app and they will be teaching you various advanced concepts of competitive programming various seven star coder six star coder they teach you these advanced concepts so you can join that particular course you can also use my coupon code that is chirayu jain c h i r a y u j a i n if you want to get 10 percent discount on that particular course so please take the course so guys like important news aap ke liye agar aapko an academy ka लाइव कोर्स लेना है जहां पे वेरियस सिक्स स्टार सेवन स्टार कोडर्स आपको एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट जो होते हैं कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग के वो पढ़ाएंगे तो वो कोर्स आप ले सकते हैं अन अकेडमी ऐप पे जाके एंड इफ यू वांट अगर आपको चाहिए दस परसेंट डिस्काउंट ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर कोर्स तो आप क्या कर सकते हैं मेरा कूपन कोड जो है दैट इज चिरायू जैन सी एच आई आर ए वाई यू जे ए आई एन वो यूज करके आप टेन डिस्काउंट भी ले सकते हैं सो ओके सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द अप्रोच right so first of all what we'll do we'll look at this map so what we need to do in this particular problem so first of all we need to find that whether we can find the value of n or not so if not then what we'll print we'll print minus 1 otherwise what we'll do if we are able to find the value of n then what we'll do we'll need to find the minimum value of n <coughs> right so the first condition is we need to determine that whether we are able to find n or not right and if the answer is no then simply what we'll do we'll print minus 1 otherwise we need to look at the task number 2 that is finding the minimum value of n right so let us look at this table let us look at this particular uh, line of numbers that if we have been given the value of l and r then how we can determine n that whether n is possible or not right so we need to determine a condition that whether we are able to find n or not so let us suppose we take l equals to 5 right so how many remainders it can have it can have remainders from 0 to l minus 1 right so here l is equals to 5 so it can range the remainders from 0 to 4 that is 0 1 2 3 and 4 it is quite clear right so we can have these many remainders so till which value we are having these remainders suppose suppose uh we take the value of uh let us say that n as 5 so 5 modulo 5 gives the remainder 0 suppose we take the value of n as 6 so 6 modulo 5 gives remainder 1 right suppose we take the value of n as 7 so 7 modulo 5 gives remainder 2 similarly we will continue this process and whenever and when we are going to find this particular last remainder at value 9 so 9 modulo 5 will give the remainder 4 so after this what happens the remainder starts repeating itself right so if we look at 10 so 10 modulo 5 will give us the remainder 0 again right and then 11 11 modulo 5 will again give us the remainder 1 and then 12 modulo 5 will give us the remainder 2 so from this number from this particular 10 what we saw that the remainder were repeating itself right so in the particular question if we take any value of n then n modulo n till l modulo r the remainders must be in decreasing order right and must be distinct as well so what is the possible combination of remainders that we can have so we can have remainders from here right so from 4 we can have remainders like this like a number modulo with 5 give us the remainder 4 a number modulo with 5 give us the remainder 3 so a remainder can be in this particular decreasing order right so i am not stating that it will start from 4 it can start from 3 as well so from 3 it can give us the decreasing order but after 10 right so from 10 from 10 the remainders are again repeating like 0 1 2 3 4 4 again it will repeat and like if we encounter 15 so 15 uh, modulo 5 will again give us the remainder that is 0 so again the remainders will repeat itself right so what we can observe from this particular situation is that we are getting a decreasing order only if this particular remainder only if we can have at max the value of r till this particular remainder right so if the value of r goes above this right so the remainder will first what will happen it will come to zero and then it will encounter four and then it will decrease right so we cannot have a strictly decreasing order 
right so we got one observation from this particular thing that the remainder the remainder must be <coughs> at max till this particular value that is 4 in this particular case when we are taking l equals to 5 right so when we are getting this remainder that is 4 right so we are getting this remainder 4 when we encounter a value that is 9 right so after that 0 comes into the place where we encounter the value 10 right so one thing we are very much sure that if the value of r is less than or equal to 9 right so it will it will be obviously greater than 5 right so if the value of r is less than or equal to 9 then only we can have a decreasing series of modulo right so for any value of n i am just i am not concerned with the value of n or minimum value of n i am just checking the condition whether we are able to get n or not so after this after this what will happen the remainders will repeat and then we are not able to get the decreasing order right so we got the observation that for l equals to 5 the value of r must be less than or equal to 9 right so let us generalize this condition that means if the value of r is greater than or equal to 10 greater than or equal to 10 then we are not able to get the value of n right so because the remainders will be not be in strictly decreasing order right from the starting of l right so what we can say what we can say here that if r is less than 2l then we can get the answer right if r is less than 2l then we can get the answer else what we will do we'll print minus 1 else we'll print minus 1 so this is the basic condition that we can judge from this particular observation right now we have just that when we are getting this particular answer so this particular condition is solved this particular condition is solved that when uh, when we are getting the value of n so in this particular case we are getting the value of n when the value of r is less than 2l then we can get the value of n now we need to check that what will be the minimum value of n what will be the minimum value of n so task 1 is completed task 1 is completed now we are at task 2 to get the minimum value of n right so let us suppose let us suppose that uh, the value of r is 8 right so l equals to 5 and r equals to 8 right so what is the minimum value that we can take of n let us suppose we take n equals to 9 right so 9 modulo uh, 5 will give us the remainder that is 4 then 9 modulo 6 which is the next number of 5 will give us the remainder 3 9 modulo 7 will give us the remainder 2 and 9 modulo 8 will give us the remainder 1 right so it is in a decreasing order we can see and it is a perfect solution but is the value of n is minimum right so what we can judge what we can judge that we can reach at minimum when the uh, remainder is zero right so this is the bare minimum level we can reach but here the, the minimum level we are reaching is one right so for n equals to nine we are reaching the remainder one so let us suppose we take n equals to eight instead of nine right so if we are taking n equals to eight then what will happen we'll start with l so uh, 8 modulo 5 will give us the remainder 3, 8 modulo 6 will give us the remainder 2, 8 modulo 7 will give us the remainder 1 and 8 modulo 8 will give us the remainder 0. Right, so this is the bare minimum we can reach. We got the remainder 0 at a particular value of r and what we did, we, the, we took the value of n as r. Right, so we are getting the remainder as 0 and we are maintaining the strictly decreasing series. We are getting the distinct value of the remainder as well in a decreasing order. Right, so we judged with a point that whenever we take n equals to r then only we are getting a strictly decreasing series till the bare minimum level that is remainder 0 right so if r is less than 2l what we can do we can print out simply print out the value of r right so this is the minimum value of n that we can find right so it is a very easy problem but only one if else condition that if r is less than 2l then what we can do we can print r otherwise what we'll do we'll print minus n so we are completed with the task 2 and task 1 both the tasks are completed and we are done with the approach of this problem so now let's try to simply code this particular approach in c plus plus
okay so let's start the code of this particular problem in c plus plus so what we'll do we'll first enter the test cases and for each test case what we are getting is two values that is l and r so we'll input these values and then we'll write the condition what is the condition that if r is less than twice of l then we are able to get the answer otherwise what we'll do we'll print minus one okay so now what is the minimum value that of n that we are getting that is equal to r so we'll print out r in this particular case so this is the whole code of the problem so now let's run this code on the sample input so we are getting the answer that is six and minus one so now let's submit this particular code on code chef okay so let's submit this code on code chef so we'll submit it and we are getting the correct answer